Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Wednesday, January 12, 2022, Matthew, the 16th chapter, verses 16 through 28, and the 17th chapter. As always, we are reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads... <coughs> And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father who is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever they shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind thee, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life will lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. <coughs> Excuse me. For what is a man profited if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. For verily I say unto you, there be, so, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Chapter 17. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias, talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias. <coughs> Excuse me. And while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. And the disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the, the scribes that Elias must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias has come already. And they knew him not. But have done unto him whatsoever they listeth. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to the disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. 
and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible for you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. And while they stood in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised again. And they were exceeding sorry. And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter and said, Doth not your master pay tribute? And he said, Yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute, of their own children or of strangers? And Peter saith unto him, Of strangers. And Jesus saith unto him, Then are the children free? Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go thou to the sea, cast a hook, and take up the fish that first cometh up. And when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money. That take and give unto them for me and thee. Chapter 18. And at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? <clears throat> and Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever therefore shall humble himself, <coughs> excuse me, as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hung, hanged around his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. May the Lord add a blessing <clears throat> to me, the reader, and you, the hearer of this precious and sacred word of God. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued support and donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We do broadcasts across these various social media platforms. We broadcast Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time. We're back reading our book at noon, The Bait of Satan. And at 7 p.m., we read the Word of God. We are Smurf. International Ministries. International because we have people that come in from all over the world. We are 7 Minute Read family, 7 Minute Read followers, just 7 Minute Read faithful folk. I am Minister Mama Pam and any donation that the Lord lays upon your heart to donate to me, please feel free to sow seed on good ground. $7 is all I request. 7 Minute Read, $7. And these are the places that you can send it to. Remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And remember, Mom and Pam loves you. And there's absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. Until the next read, God bless.